Yo. Okay, so today we will be taking a look at the dynamic list converter. And this is a pretty neat converter. Now, what it does is it allows you to flatten any shape that you create using the spline tool. And to demonstrate, I'm going to select my spline tool here. I'm going to go ahead and create a very simple shape like so. And we already know that whatever shape we create using the spline tool, it will contain several points that allow us to, to alter the object. All right. So what if we wanted to flatten this object to create one solid shape? Well, that's where the dynamic list converter comes in. So with this shape selected, I'm going to go into my properties and uh, I'm going to go to the vertices property here, right click convert and click on dynamic list. And there we see that the points are no longer there and we aren't able to edit the, the line. So it's, a, it's now a solid object. Okay. Now, there's something to note. Once we make it a solid object, we aren't able to rotate. We, we aren't able to perform the basic transforms on the shape like we could do before. The only way that we can do that is if we either create a folder and put it into the folder and use the control points on the folder to alter the object. Or of course, if we create the basic transforms and use these to, to alter the object. Right, so that is pretty cool. Let me undo. Now, what if we wanted to convert our object back so that we can get our individual points? Well, all we need to do is go back to the vertices property here, right click, convert and click on spline. And now we have our points that we can use to alter the object again. So that is the dynamic list converter. Uh, there's also a static list converter, which pretty much does the same thing, the exact same thing. So uh, you can either use the static list converter or the dynamic list, okay? And uh, yeah, that's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Yo, Kimari. Yo, Kimari.